Hi, in this video we will continue to talk about our preferences. Go to edit, preferences, to default image. Uh, now before I continue I just wanted to say that I know that these tutorials on preferences are kind of boring but trust me you need to know all this stuff. This is the foundation. This can save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches in the future. So learn this stuff. Now default image or more precisely default new image. Before we start to discuss these options I want to, so to show you how you can create a new image. You click on file, new. This is one of the ways of course. Uh, you get presented with this uh, box which basically contains the same options as uh, the options in the preferences. Now you get this same options every time and if you want to work with some kind of other presets here you need to change them in your preferences. For example you want to work with this image size with this option here and you want to start with this every time you don't want to change the options every time you start it. so you click OK you go here new and as you can see nothing changed to change that you need to click reset I don't know why is this but you need to do that and then you get the new options and every time you start GIMP every time you create a new uh, image you will be you have your options here so this can be very helpful and save a lot of time. Now let's discuss these options. The first one is the template. You can choose from pre-existing templates. The second one is uh, image size. You can customize that. You can write your own image size here. Uh, you can choose the metric system in inches, millimeters. You can choose a portrait or a landscape view. Uh, here is the resolution. You can choose again pixels per inches, pixels per millimeters. Now, the higher you go here, the better quality, but it's not really necessary most of the time. So, uh, and uh, the image sizes grows a lot. The next thing is color space, grayscale, or RB, RGB. The next thing is fill in with foreground color, background color, white or transparency. This is your foreground color right now. This is your background color. You can change these. Um, basically that's it. Here you can also click on this clip to unclip it and when you up the resolution it will up only the X resolution. If you clip it together, you are upping everything. This clip here is found in many menus in GIMP. Always make sure if it's unclipped or clipped because in some of the menus it's by default it's not clipped, in others it's clipped and you may have some problems with that. So check check this out. That's it for now. Bye.